Being in a state of social flow is like a magical moment. Hours pass by and not one insecure thought pops into your mind. You, you don't even think at all. You are completely involved in the environment around you. Everyone finds you charismatic, but then slowly and surely you start coming out of that state and you go back to your normal self who's overthinking, who fidgets and stutters, and you just wish that you could get back into the social flow. You've probably experienced this quite a lot. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to get into the social flow consistently. Firstly, we have to understand the flow state coined by Mikhail Cheka, his name's on the screen. When you've got the right level of a challenge and the right level of a reward, you enter the flow state. When you get into a flow state in terms of work or sports, it's like what athletes call being in the zone. There's no thoughts, there's no, there's no plan of what you're going to do, which step you're going to take, which, which punch you're gonna throw if you're boxing or what you're gonna do next in your work. There's no thoughts. You just act. And how you act when you're in the flow state is incredible. It's like you do everything right. You don't miss any shots. You don't take any jabs yourself. You throw all the jabs and they connect to the chin. You do the work so perfectly and it's incredible. Three hours have just went by and it felt like you did work for 20 minutes. So we need to be at this right point, this golden area to achieve the flow state. The challenge needs to be just in the right spot and the reward needs to be big enough. So let's talk about the challenge and reward separately in terms of social experiences. To get into the right level of social challenge requires training. Most guys' social skills are pretty trash. Be honest, how many hours have you spent leveling up your social skills in the last month? Be honest, zero. Don't, don't fucking lie to me, bro, zero. Zero. It's no wonder why we we all suck at social experiences and you know we strive to get back into the social flow because we haven't leveled up the skill. The social challenge is always going to be too high when the only social skill practice you've got is speaking to your friends on Discord. And that means that any real life social experience, the challenge of it is going to be too high because it's just going to be anxiety inducing. Let's say you go to a party, you go to some kind of social event and you're only used to speaking to your closest friends on Discord and WhatsApp. You're going to struggle. It, you're gonna feel very anxious because your level of social skills are not good enough for that experience. So start by leveling up your social skills. First and most important way to do that is to start thinking about the other person instead of yourself. Lose your ego, you're not that important. They are more important than you in the social experience. This is how you create lovely social experiences when you think about the person more than you think about yourself. Because why do we think about ourselves? We only really think about ourselves because either one, we've got a massive ego, which I don't think most people are there. But the second one, we've got insecurities. We're speaking to someone new and, oh, she might be looking at my nipples, bro. I've got some bitch titty. She might be looking, oh, she, oh, she might be looking at my teeth. Is she looking at my, wait, wait, make sure you uh, smile like this, yeah? When we think about our insecurities, we're not in the social flow. We're not thinking about the other person. We're not being charismatic. We're just being insecure. And there is a few things you can do to help this, but mainly start thinking about the other person. Take an interest in them as a human being. This is like a fun little thing I do when I speak to someone. I actually observe them and their characteristics and their behavior, their body language, their, their vocal tone, everything they do, I, I find interest in that. Here's my boy, Jonathan, and everything he does is iconic, it's individual, it's unique to him. So isn't that just something that's interesting that you can like look at a person and think like, oh, that is this individual because other people would have behaved and reacted to maybe something I said different than he did. And so that's something to be interested by observe your fellow human because it's kind of like people watching but on a deeper level. Books like How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie and The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. They help incredibly with social skills. Yes, it is a little bit weird reading about how to interact with other humans, but if it helps, then why wouldn't you use it to your benefit? How to win friends and influence people skyrocketed my social skills, and actually very quickly, I made a Skillshare class on that, where I went through all 30 principles. I told you what was in the book, so you don't really have to read the book if you watch the class. And also I told you like an example from me and you know, like a, a piece of advice from me on every principle. It's like an hour long, it's on Skillshare. Go to the description right now if you wanna watch it and click on this. Skillshare link. So the higher your social skill level, the harder the challenge that is at the right level for you. So if you're untrained and you don't have great social skills, the, the challenge that you can take is actually very low. But as you level up your skills, you read these books, you try to approach strangers in public and just talk to random people as you walk past, that levels up your social skills and that levels up the level of challenge that you can endure. Social reward. 
this bit's very important. You're more likely to get into the social flow if you perceive the rewards of this social experience as high enough. With friends that you've had for years, the social reward of that is quite low because you've had conversations with these guys 500 times. So the next conversation is not gonna be exactly so rewarding compared to speaking to a new girl you've just met for the first time or being in a party and, and speaking to 10 people there. The reward of these situations is far higher. But obviously the challenge of these new situations, speaking to a girl you've, you've never met before, being in a party, the social challenge of those situations is far higher. And this is why we have to start with leveling up our social skills first. And this works out easier than you think. If you focus on leveling up your social skills first, actually giving it some time and intention of your day to actively think, how can I be better in social experiences? How can I treat my fellow human better? You will make more friends and get more invites to social experiences. And you'll probably even get the confidence to invite people to the social experiences that you host yourself. These new experiences are slightly more challenging, but now of course, you've got the social skills to handle that. And these new experiences are far more socially rewarding. And so now you're hitting that sweet spot with the challenge and the reward is at the right level. Finally, we have to talk about the importance of mindfulness. The most iconic characteristic of the flow state is a lack of thought, a complete involvement in the activity, a lack of self. That's mindfulness. That is mindfulness. Mindfulness is gained through meditation. Think of meditation as the gym workout and mindfulness as the gains, the muscle that you make from that workout. The more you meditate, the more mindful you become. And the more mindful you become, the easier it is for you to get into that social flow state. If you wanna see more videos from a somewhat unconventional small YouTuber, I talk about masculinity and young men's self-improvement. If that's interesting to you, then turn on the post notifications. You'll get a little message when my next video is posted. I do one-to-one -one self-improvement coaching. If you think you'd benefit from speaking to me personally every single week and even every day, we'll be on WhatsApp just texting each other and I'll be helping you with your goals, your self improvement journey if you want to get fit if you want to make new friends you want to get some girls all of that stuff if you feel like i can help you then scroll down and click on the self-improvement coaching link in the description i have a self-improvement email newsletter on sunday you're going to get a special email from me which is going to teach you a lot about masculinity it's going to be practical advice that you can use to become a stronger man scroll down and sign up to the email newsletter to get that finally there is a video that just popped up on screen three principles of social success i think you'll like that one. Click on it right now. Take care. Woo! I am done, G.